When Philip Ramirez went to a Gallup hospital after suffering several panic attacks last night, his Chihuahua Bunny helped him keep calm. She takes care of me with my uh, my panic attacks. So. Nightmares. Bunny is trained to scratch his face and wake him up. She also jumps on his chest and licks his face when he's crying. He carries her with him everywhere, including Garcia's Sunset Grill. Many restaurants specifically prohibit pets inside. However, service dogs are still allowed, but most of them should be trained to sit at the feet of the customer. Not on the chair, but at my feet. Half the time when I'm at a, at a restaurant and we've eaten for a while and we come out, She'll come out from underneath the table and people say, oh my gosh, I didn't know there was a dog there. Bree Songer is an advocate for service dogs and met with the Garcias yesterday. They were very polite, very willing to hear from us. The Garcias say everyone knew Bunny was with Ramirez. This individual was constantly holding the animal and having it at the table. Bunny didn't have any visible ID, but vests and patches like this are not required. Businesses can only ask if the dogs are trained for service with the disability and what that disability is. Cesar Garcia says there was initially some misunderstanding about the type of service Bunny provides, but now that he's gotten the full story, he wants to help teach others. Since we're educated about it, we want to, you know, let everybody know what we know and what's out there. And make sure everyone who comes to his family's restaurant feels welcome. In Gallup, Robert Richardson, KOAT Action 7 News.